Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far, don't worry, baby. Just call out my name, I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry, cause baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, babe. Howdy guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. And as touching as that song is, despite me singing it of course, because y'all know how I feel about my own singing, we actually do need to split up Banjo-Kazooie once more. Because now that we, the last time we left off, we did some mumbo magic, among other things. And because of that mumbo magic, we actually now have the ability to climb the beanstalks. So let's go ahead and do that, but we need to do this with Banjo only. So just a fair warning, if you start going and climbing the beanstalks, and I know you can do this with Banjo and Kazooie, you need to do this with just Banjo solely. You know, I'm not trying to make them all solo, you know, make them like a bad booty here. Oh, we got a badass over here. It's just, you know, the game says, oh, well, nope, you gotta start practicing, pra playing in dangerous high- Oh, you son of a bee. Get away from me! No! Go away! <laughs> Go away, you nasty! Ugh. Please don't hurt me. Oh, dear goodness. Get me across there! <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Get me, 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 Barely a minute in, and we already had a death. This is going wonderful. Get away from me! Where's my daggum pesticide spray when you need it? Kill you, you son of a biscuit eater! Swat you down with my bare hands! God, I hate those bees in this game. I really, well, I don't hate all the bees per se. You know what? <sighs> Never mind. Just don't even talk about it. I just grinds my gears too much. I can't believe that. Oh, y'all, that's just that's crazy. How can he just be so dang accurate and perfectly persistent in trying to just knock me in the right direction that clearly you know, just leaves me completely defenseless. Like, that's just, that's not fair, you know? that I hate when games have points where enemies can attack you. I mean, it's different if, you know, you're supposed to be dodging and playing like Solid Snake, but when you don't have a choice, you have to get to a certain point and they can attack you, but you can't defend yourself, I think that's just total BS, man. It's bullcrap. Some serious BS going on here. <sighs> All right, let's calm down and just Take a look and see what we got here. It looks like we got a giant wedge of cheese. Ooh. They say, with a good wine, goes with a good cheese. I don't even know. I was trying to be clever here. Okay, well, let's, I guess, enter at our own risk. You know, maybe some... <coughs> <coughs> Woo! Somebody get me the ass off! Woo! Somebody get... Break out the Lysol, please! Dear goodness! <coughs> Woo! Oh, look, look at this! Look at the fart-like effect they have here. The aroma they... Like, the, the amount of detail they did. Oh! <coughs> Woo! So we're inside a giant wedge cheat. <coughs> Whoa! Gotta love that, that they did this. Oh! Again, I stand by my statement. This is definitely an Alice in Wonderland thing, because only this world would have a giant wedge of cheese with... Woohoo! Sharp jetter. Looks like some onions here that we're riding on. But, uh, yeah. Whew. I actually kind of like this part, despite the amount of pain in the buttery it is to control the, the uh, sack pack. Yeah, if any of you are having trouble... <coughs> Whoa, it's bad in here. Then fret not this place... Or, fret not... Um, the sha the sack pack is actually pretty finicky to control. Ooh, Jinjo. Yay! Thank you for saving me from this giant wedge of cheese. I almost died in here. Well, thank you. I appreciate the gold Ding. nugget contribution. <laughs> Let's get some fresh air. <laughs> actually, to be truthful, 
I don't think I'd probably mind it so much because I actually like cheese, but then again, I like cutting the cheese too. Ooh, you nasty, you nasty. Man, look at this view. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful, man! It's beautiful! Look at this! We're never gonna get a nice view like this again. Wait, is that what I think it is? Oh, Rareware, you silly gooses. We already know we're playing a Rareware game. You don't gotta brag about it, I swear. Like, if you look... If, you've, if we've recounted all the times we see a Rare Rare sign, it would just be redonkulous. But I'm not gonna knock them because uh, there are pretty much plenty of other companies that do the same thing. But anyway, gold nuggets! Gold nuggets galore, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen! <laughs> it's a little sharp on the cheddar side, but yeah, well, a little cheese never hurt anybody. Mmm, yes. A good cheese is like a fine wine. The more it ages, the tastier it is. Or so I'm told, anyway. I've actually never had one, for those who are curious. I mean, I, I am indeed of legal drinking age. I've been like that for at least three or four years now. Or three years. Hello. Learn how to math. But I just, I'm not like a big heavy drinker. I mean, every once in a while I have, a nice, I have a nice, like, sweet drink. And I'm like, mm, I can really go for that right now. Just because, you know, life. Life happens. But speaking of age... Holy crapiola, dude. I'm like freaking six years late on this, I think. Six years? Is that how long it's been? Six, five, give or take? Somewhere around there. But I never knew how old our president actually was. The United States president, I mean. And he's been president for a good while, you know. You would think you would actually read up on him. I mean, I've seen all the memes, the Barack Obama and all that stuff. Yeah, you should really, really pay attention more if, you're, if that's all you can remember. But apparently, I didn't know this, but that guy is... Barack Obama, or Barack Obama, not to be confused for Barack Obama. Barack Obama was actually in his 50s this year. I did not know that. Or he's been in his 50s this year. He's going to be 55 by the time he retires his, his presidency, actually. Kind of wildfires me, because I'm like, dude, the guy, not only does he not sound, but he does not look like he's in his 50s. He looks like he was in his mid-40s, and he's just now finishing up, maybe creeping up around the corner of age 50. But, you know, that's just, wow. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover sometimes, because, I mean, as I've constantly harped on in the past, in my old videos, which I do not recommend, uh, well, actually, I'll say this, um, anything Majora's Mask or Super Mario Sunshine-ish era, or Banjo-Tooie era, I would definitely, yeah, you can go ahead and go do that, but anything before that, uh, <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying the videos are bad, but I'm, I'm, I will say they aren't my best work, so to speak. As in, I'm like, uh, if I were to choose something that helps represent me, I would definitely say I wouldn't choose any of the, any Banjo-Kazooie, any of my Ocarina of Time, any of my Rough Draft, that's for sure. Dang. I mean, my Burp Boyd run, my Burp Run, Burp Boyd run, Burp Run of Kirby's Avalanche was okay, but still, I just, I wouldn't be right, I wouldn't write home to anybody about that one. But yeah. If any of you are new to this channel and you're like, where should I go first to check it out? You know, this is your, like, if you happen to be here and this is, like, the most recent video and out of habit, you know, you just go and check it out. I'd say start with either Majora's Mask, Super Mario Sunshine, or even just j just this Let's Play, the beginning of this one. I mean, you can choose other ones, too, like Bomberman 64 or Bomberman Hero, it's fine, it's whatever, or Poke Park Wii, Pikachu's Adventure, or even the new, improved Pokemon Puzzle League, but yeah. Definitely, if you can, steer clear of the old stuff, because I cringe just thinking about it. I got a sack, shut up! I'll sack you. What's the word? Tea? Oh, it's not sack, it's teabag. I'll teabag you. Oh, I'm sorry. I see you have a sack, Furball! Fancy a little race across this thorny course. Isn't that dangerous? What if I say no? Can I just, like, can we do something else? I don't blame you. I'm far too much of an athlete. You! Arrogant, pompous, snooty, little stuffed anteater! Come on! Come on! What are you, what are you, like... Falco? Yeah, it's Falco, I think. No, that's Fox, I think, that does that. I forget who does that taunt. They go, Come on! Not to be mistaken for Jim on! Alright, let's go ahead and do this, man. Stop messing around. We gotta get this done, man. Seriously. We already died once. We only got one gold nugget. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Alright, so there are two ways we can go about this. I recommend choosing the narrow pathway just because it's a guarantee! <laughs> e. 
Huh. So I don't die. As I thought, I predictably easily won. Had a victory for Mr. Fit. How about another race? Grammar match. <sighs> this game is egging me. I'm telling you, it, it hates me. It hates me. It wants me to absolutely lose my cool and flip my shiznit. It really does. Shut up. Let's do this. Okay, I didn't know this. You didn't have to push Z, but... Like I was saying, don't you dare fall. I'll kick your butt if you... Ooh, if you even dare. Use that narrow pathway and you will be a guaranteed... Have a guaranteed victory. If you choose the long way, I don't know if it's actually at all possible to win. I haven't actually tried it, because I'm like... Shortcut! Straight across, just about. It's got a little crook in it, but you know, hey. What? You must have cheated! Uh-uh. You ain't won yet, Furball. See you around for event three. Take your bowl up sack out of here, you log-nosed freak of nature. Pinocchio ought to have a word for you. A few words for you. Or Adam Ant, one of the two. Either one would work here, probably. Alright. Well, we've climbed all the beanstalks, y'all. And I'm sorry to say this, but we didn't get any golden goose. We didn't get any prizes or gold. We didn't even get to fight a giant. Man, when are we going to fight a boss in this level? I swear. I am disappointed so far, man. I want to find a giant. I want to find something! Give me something! No! Woo! Woo! Freaking out here! Oh, this is going to hurt. Uh, oh! Ow. Oh, sure. Just scratch your head like, oh, I fell. I'm surprised he's... I swear, if we were to draw, and I keep saying I swear, I'm not actually swearing. Damn it! Stop swearing. Oh. <laughs> If I had to draw the amount of injuries Banjo and Kazooie have right about now, even Mumbo, those, the, they would probably pr file charges. They'd file a daggum lawsuit on my behind, you know? They'd, freaking they'd be in, like, wheelchair bandages, crutches, and all that, and, ban like, there'd be bruises showing through the skin, or even if you can show that, show any of their skin or fur or feathers, for that matter. In fact, you'd probably just see a mummified version of all three of them, with the amount of falling and stupidity I do around here. Oh lordy. So, our next tidbit we want to do... Will you stop trying to hurt these guys? Jeez! What is the matter with you? You're, you're psycho! You're psychotic, dude! Ugh, and you, now you're killing flatzos! Haven't you fed your violent side enough? Seriously! Snack, to, snack into a power of Slim Jim if you need to take care of that. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Now that I've done scolded myself here, let's get to what we need to do. What we need to do is we need to take on Mr. Fitz's last challenge. Well, actually, we don't need to do anything, but we're going to do it. And if you're using this as a guide, or heaven help you if you are... <laughs> oh, come on! Really? Really? I mean, I'm glad we landed in water, but really? At the risk of potentially falling, failing, or doing something else that's equally as stupid and embarrassing... What we need to do is we need to go over here, grab a pair of running shoes, and this is actually a cave I recommended that you hold off until later, but it's later, so let's get to it. If y'all remember correctly, this is actually the area we went and took Mumbo to do his brain dance magic. Ah, uh, I see you have your running shoes. Do you think you can beat me to the finish line and win the gold medal? I noticed you didn't call me Furball. I think I have what it takes. Yeah, let's do this. And no cheat, no head starts, man. I'm on the edge of my seat. We're gonna do this. Actually, this is that. This is probably the easiest one. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Nah, -uh. no, you don't. Huh? Huh? Yeah, huh? Huh? Yeah, I would definitely recommend jumping up those hills because they, especially if you are, if you had like a late start, because that'll give you like a little advantage in, in beating this guy. I also recommend doing this with Kazooie only. Uh, I lost! I can't believe I was beaten by a bag of feathers! Oh, take my medal. I'm off to the gym to train for next season. Oh, well, go earn your badges, dude. Be a Pokemon trainer, man. In the meantime... Nom 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 Delicioso gold nuggets for the win. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Mmm! I'd say this was a very productive episode, despite all the failure and deaths. I would like to take this moment to say thank you all for watching. Love y'all bunches. Please and let's toast fly up.
And in the next episode, we're actually going to do some stuff together now that we're done splitting up Banjo-Kazooie. And in the meantime, take a moment to answer this question in the video. Question of the video, y'all. <coughs> do you like cheese? If so, what is your favorite type? Let me know in the comments, and I'll be glad to read them. Thanks again for watching, and take care, y'all. Peace.